Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Eternal Word, August 19. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. John eighteen thirty seven. Christ was the greatest teacher the world has ever known. He came to this earth to shed abroad the bright beams of truth, that humanity might gain a fitness for heaven. For this cause I came into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. John 18.37 He came to reveal the character of the Father, that people might be led to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Humanity's need for a divine teacher was known in heaven. The pity and sympathy of God were aroused in behalf of human beings fallen and bound to Satan's chariot car. And when the fullness of time was come, he sent forth his Son. The one appointed in the councils of heaven came to this earth as man's instructor. The rich benevolence of God gave him to our world, and to meet the necessities of human nature, he took humanity upon himself. To the astonishment of the heavenly host, the eternal word came to this world as a helpless babe. Fully prepared, he left the royal courts and mysteriously allied himself with fallen human beings. When Christ left his high command, he might have taken upon him any condition of life that he chose. But greatness and rank were nothing to him. He chose the most humble walk of life. No luxury ease or self-gratification came into his experience. The truth of heavenly origin was to be his theme. He was to sow the world with truth, that during his childhood, Christ should grow in wisdom and in favor with God and humanity, was not the matter of astonishment. For it was according to the laws of his divine appointment that his talents should develop and his faculties strengthen. He did not seek an education in the schools of the rabbis, for God was his instructor. As he grew older, he continued to increase in wisdom. He applied himself diligently to a study of the scriptures, for he knew them to be full of invaluable instruction. He was faithful in his discharge of his home duties, and the early morning hours, instead of being spent in bed, often found him in a retired place, searching the scriptures and praying to his heavenly Father. Further reflection, if Jesus was the eternal world, why did he need to study the scriptures?